Hey YouTube, this is Ruben and today I'll talk about timeout errors and everything you need to know about them. You will learn all error classes and how to work with servers to fix those timeout errors. Let's dive in. But before we start troubleshooting your WordPress site's timeout errors, hit the subscribe button and the bell to get notifications because we post new content every week. This video was brought to you by Tenweb, an automated WordPress platform designed for agencies. Automate hosting, speed optimization, migration, site building and management, and skyrocket your agency growth. Sign up for a 14-day free trial and experience true automation. First off, what is a 504 timeout error? As you all know, a website is all about sending requests to the server and getting data back. And every response from the server contains an HTTP status code. And what is that? That's a three-digit number where the first digit defines the class of response. Here's the list of classes. One, informational response. The request was received and is being processed. Two, successful. The request was successfully received, understood and accepted. Three, redirection. Further action needs to be taken in order to complete the request. Four, client error. The request contains bad syntax or can't be fulfilled. 5. Server error. The server failed to fulfill an apparently valid request. So, error 504 belongs to the fifth class where the request is valid but the server can't fulfill it. And why is that? Well, timeout error 504 usually happens when the server is a gateway or a proxy server and can't receive a timely response from the upstream server. In human speak, we waited for a reasonable amount of time at the door of the server and got no answer. If there's some other issue, you will get one of these. 500. Internal server error. This one's a generic error message and has no specific messaging. 501. Not implemented means the server doesn't recognize the request method or lacks the ability to fulfill it. 502. Bad gateway. The server is acting as a gateway or a proxy and receives an invalid response from the upstream server. 503. Service unavailable. means the server is temporarily unable to process the request because of an overload or it's down for maintenance. Next question. What does the timeout error 504 look like? A trick question. It can look any which way. Whenever you spot the number 504 and read something about gateway timeout, there it is. Here is Google's if it helps. So what causes timeout error 504? As the class of response shows, it's a server-side error. But even though usually a user can't do much here, there are still some things you should try. Here's what you can do. Wait a minute and reload the page. Maybe it's a temporary problem. Restart network devices. If reloading the page doesn't work, try to restart your device and your network devices such as modem or router, then reload the page. Flash DNS cache. The problem may be your DNS servers. Linux, Windows and Mac OS save name resolution information in the form of a DNS cache. You can clear your DNS cache. For flushing cache on Windows, open Windows command prompt and type the following. If you succeed, you will get the successfully flush the DNS resolver cache message. On macOS, open the terminal and type this command. There is no message after processing this command, so you can add your own by running the command in this way. Now, cleaning a DNS cache on Linux is different from macOS or Windows. Different Linux distributions use different DNS services. Some of them are NSCD, Name Service Caching Daemon, DNS Mask, and Bind, Berkeley Internet Name Domain. Open the terminal and depending on your own Linux distribution DNS server, use one of these commands to flush DNS cache on Linux. For an NSCD DNS cache, use this one. This one is for a DNS Mask DNS cache, and for a bind DNS cache, use these three. If the terminal asks, enter your password. If it doesn't help, try the next tip. If cleaning the DNS cache didn't help, you can try changing your DNS servers. When you change the DNS servers that your internet-connected device uses, you change your servers usually assigned by your ISP. 
If you're using Cloudflare, note that Cloudflare returns a 504 error on a custom template when your origin web server responds with a standard HTTP 504 timeout error. This is because something is wrong with your server. You can try to fix it with the steps that we've already described, and if that doesn't help, you should contact your hosting provider. If the 504 error is from Cloudflare, the screen may look like this. If the error doesn't contain the word Cloudflare, it means that the problem comes from the actual server. If the error does contain the word Cloudflare, contact Cloudflare support. The same goes for 502 bad gateway errors. Now, what can you do on the server side? To find out the reason for a 504 error, check your server logs. By checking access logs, you can see if there's any spam from bots. You can also check error logs for information about issues on your website. With TimWeb, you can easily do this by going to Hosting Services, then Logs. You can select Access Logs, Error Logs, PHP FPM Logs from the selection at the top of the page. If you have access to your server, you can check server logs. Depending on your web server type, Nginx or Apache, the logs can be in var log Nginx or in var log Apache 2 correspondingly. Now, what are the possible server-related reasons for a 504 timeout error? One of the common reasons is server-side infrastructure. Many shared hostings don't provide enough resources for high-traffic websites. That is why we at TenWeb provide automated WordPress hosting powered by Google Cloud, allowing us to use Linux containers to isolate the resources we provide to you. So there are fewer 504 errors. And if you do face a 504 error, try contacting our customer support to resolve the issue faster. Another major reason for a 504 timeout error is the number of PHP workers, that is, background processes responsible for processing PHP code. If you have only one PHP worker, your site can process only one request at a time. But this doesn't mean that the second request won't be processed. Instead, the PHP processes will be placed in a queue. If all PHP workers are busy and the queue is full, 504 or 502 errors may occur, so it's very important to understand the exact number of workers that will best serve your site's needs. Another common reason for a 504 timeout error is improper firewall configuration. A firewall is basically a network security system that establishes a barrier between a trusted network and an untrusted network. In some cases, there can be such firewall settings that can consider safe and valid content as malicious and cut off traffic, which can lead to 504 timeout errors. So check your server error logs to find out if the firewall has improper configs. The next reason is bots and attacks. Many requests from bots or DDoS attacks by hackers can lead to timeout errors. And to avoid this, you can use Cloudflare, which is a market leader in DDoS protection. Another possible reason for timeout errors is third-party plugins and themes. Heavily working PHP scripts written in a non-optimal way can cause timeout errors as well. So try deactivating all plugins and start activating them one by one to find out the guilty ones. If you can't open your WordPress admin dashboard because of the error, but still have file access to WordPress installation, just rename the plugin folder in WP content. This will deactivate all plugins. And for your theme, you can temporarily change your theme to WordPress's default theme to discover the issue. 504 errors can occur due to uh, cron jobs that are running on your server doing heavy tasks. To check which crons are running, you can use the WP Control plugin, which allows you to view and control the WP cron system. And if you have access to WP CLI, you can run this command to check crons. The result will be the following. To avoid timeout errors, you can configure your WP cron in a way that allows it to run like a real cron. Since WP cron works during the requests, it has max execution time limitation and so can lead to timeout errors. Inefficient database queries can also cause timeout errors. To discover such queries, you can use the Query Monitor plugin, which is a developer tools panel for WordPress. Another useful tool to find timeout errors is WP Profile Command Package for WP CLI. This doesn't come with WP CLI, so you have to install it yourself. It gives you profiling information about how long each step of your WordPress website loading process has taken. If you have SSH access to your website, uh, you can easily install it by running this command.
Next on our list of server-side reasons is WordPress imports. The plugins WP All Import and WordPress Importer are widely used by WordPress developers for importing XML, CSV files, and images to their websites. If the connection between the server and the client is open for a long time during import, it can cause timeout errors. To solve this problem, you can import the file by chunk by dividing it into smaller files. If you have access to WPCLI, you can try this command uh, for importing a file. And finally, the reason may be server configs. Now, let's take a look at specific server-side parameters. Increasing these parameters can help you solve timeout issues. If you want to increase max execution time for your PHP scripts, change the max execution time parameter in your php.ini file. The default value of max execution time is 30 seconds. If your website is running with an Apache web server, you can change the timeout directive in the httpd.com file. If your website is running with a standalone Nginx server with a fast CGI process manager, you can open etc php 7.4 fpm pool.d www.conf and set it like this. If you want to increase the time limit for a given site, open the following and increase the fast CGI read timeout directive. To increase the time limit for all websites, open this conf file and do the following. After changing parameters, don't forget to reload PHP FPM and Nginx. If you're using Nginx as a reverse proxy server for Apache, then you have to change these directives in your nginx.conf file. After increasing parameters, reload Nginx. Now let's discuss a related error, ERR connection timed out. It means that server is taking too much time to reply. This error appears when your website is trying to do more than your server can manage. It's particularly common on shared hosting where your memory limit is restricted. To fix this, you can clear the browser cache or open the page in incognito private mode. Try all steps mentioned under the section client-side troubleshooting. You can also increase your memory limit in wpconfig.php. If you don't have access to your server, you can ask your hosting provider to increase your memory limit for you. Or you can increase the maximum execution time in your php.ini file, as I described above, or ask your hosting provider. And finally, let's talk about cache. To avoid timeout errors, you should use caching on your website. Caching has many benefits. It improves website performance and user experience and reduces the load of your hosting server. With TenWeb, you can enable it by heading to Hosting Services, Tools, then Website Caching. And even if you're not using TenWeb, there are many great caching plugins in the WordPress directory. Hope you found our guide to troubleshooting 504 timeout errors helpful and don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons to make the most out of WordPress and grow your online presence. This video was brought to you by TenWeb, an automated WordPress platform designed for agencies. Automate hosting, speed optimization, migration, site building and management and skyrocket your agency growth. Sign up for a 14-day free trial and experience true automation.